Hey guys, it's Mick here. Uh, I got another video for you about my truck. I did some more updates, so upgrades, whatever you want to call them, so check it out. Since I bought a travel trailer instead of a fifth wheel, I had always anticipated buying a fifth wheel, but uh, you know how deals work out sometimes. I went ahead and got a camper shell for my truck, so now my friends call me Grandpa. They call it the Grandpa Shell, but whatever, I can, got lots of nice dry storage in the back of my truck now. I bought a, uh, a Jason truck top from Mid-America Truck Tops in Eureka, Missouri. Uh, apparently I need to clean this thing, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's a, uh, just a fiberglass shell. Paid about 1200 bucks for it. But uh, lots of dry storage back here now. Oh, don't forget to support your firefighters. But uh, also, I, I had to redo my air system while I was at it because that used to all be in my toolbox that I had in the back of my truck. And uh, so I just kind of put it there for now. I figured I don't want to put it under my truck because I'm trying to keep everything nice and clean and from wearing out too fast by being exposed to elements. And so I put it there. That way I got easy access to some onboard air if I need it. So we'll see how that works out. The other thing I did was I added LED lights, so let me go. We'll go up here and flip them on real quick. I just got me a little switch here, and as you can see, I got lights back here now. That way, at uh, at nighttime, if we're unpacking, whatever, we got plenty of light back here. One thing I did find out about these LED lights because I had bought some for my camper. Uh, at the most recent camper show, I was there and they were like, oh, you gotta buy, you gotta buy these. They're, they're like 120 bucks for a 16 foot strip. And they're telling me, you know, don't buy them cheap ones. They're just Chinese made cheap pieces of junk. Uh, they ain't worth the crap. And, you know, so I kind of took their word for it. It sounded good to me. So I paid them their 120 bucks or whatever for their LED lights. Well, I found these online for like 15 bucks same thing same description as the ones I bought so I went ahead and ordered them it took about four weeks for them to come in from China and when I pulled them out of the package I compared them to the ones that I had bought from the RV show and they are the exact same thing I mean I put the controllers side by side I put the little adapters side by side everything is to the T exactly the same so I have a feeling what some of these American companies are doing is they're buying these cheap Chinese ones and putting their name on them and reselling them and making a lot of money. So, uh, you know, you can dog me for buying Chinese stuff if you want because I, I do try to buy American stuff whenever I can, but even if I buy the American, supposed American variety of these, they're still coming from China. So why spend more money? But anyway... That's really all I got today. Just wanted to show you guys the camper shell I added and, and the LED lights. And uh, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm happy about it. Or you can call me a grandpa. I don't care. But uh, that's what we got for today. Thanks for watching.